Hey everyone, welcome to Intro to DJing. In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you the basics of the tractor workflow. So what you see here are your two decks, your left deck and your right deck, or decks A and B. You also have additional decks you can see as well. What's really important when you set up tractor is if you're trying to mix with just your computer, there's gonna be more you wanna see that's hidden. So a few things we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our settings page and we're going to first go to our global settings and we want to show the global section so we can see our effects units. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to my mixer section and I want to see the EQ and fader, which will show up right here in the middle. I wanna see the filter and gain section. So of course I have my gain and my filter. And lastly, I want to also see the crossfader that will fade between the different songs. So the crossfader is over here, it will be playing deck A. And when it's in the middle, it'll play both. And finally, as it moves over here, it'll be just deck B. So by setting this up, you can then of course see a little bit better what's going on. And to give you an example, what we have here are two tracks, one on each deck. Now, sometimes you wanna see a little bit more of what's going on on each of these. So if we double click here, we can end up seeing the loop section. Double click again, you'll see the advanced section. So you basically go from the minimal view to a medium view, large view, having some components. And then lastly, you get everything, including your cue points, your beat jump and your grid settings. And I will have a separate video on how to set beat grids here in Tractor. So let's see what happens. So basically what's going on here on this deck is mirrored on this deck over here. And a few things that are worth mentioning. First is you have your Q button. You also have Q play, which is pretty much the same as Q, except it'll play when it reaches that particular point. Whereas Q is Q stutter, meaning when you release it, it jumps back to that point. You also have your play and pause button which is really important. And here in the middle, your crossfader will crossfade between two songs. Up here on top, you have your sync button and then your master button, which chooses which deck is synced to which. So if I hit sync and this one is the master, this will be, this will be basically the one that is controlled. If basically whichever one is the master. Whereas if this one is the master, then this will be the knob that controls both of them. So it makes sure both of the tracks are locked in sync if you're using sync. We also up here have our EQ controls. So we have our low, cutting and boosting, mid, and our highs. We also have a filter knob, our gain, and then effects routing, which we'll talk about in another video. You also have this pan knob, but it's very rare you're going to be touching this much at all. So hopefully this gets you set up with how Tractor should look. I like having the mixer section here along with the effects on top. That way, when you're practicing, you can basically just use your laptop. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to start and stop these tracks if you want. By default, W starts the track on the left and S starts the track on the right. So with that in mind, hopefully you can get started playing around with Tractor. In the next few video videos, I'll be showing you some neat transitions and other cool features here in Tractor Pro.